And good afternoon to you. It's Monday the 5th of June 2017. A warm welcome along to today's United Kingdom talk, which may be a little bit shorter uh, than it is uh, usually, boys and girls. We did try this morning, uh, but there was no sound. We we had a bit of a sound failure, I'm afraid, this morning, which is uh, and it took me about an hour and a half to sort it out. Um, what I did over the weekend, as you know, we recorded, uh, we did a show on Saturday. Um, let's just turn it down just a touch there. There we are. Uh, di- I did a show on Saturday, and after the show, everything, after everything was done, I thought I'll do some big updates. There's a big Windows update if you're on Windows 10. All right? So if you haven't done that yet, you'll, you'll have to do that at some point. Now, some people don't do the updates because, and I was the same um, for a long time, uh, because they feel, you know, if, if everything's working, what's the point of risking updating it? Now, this this is the exact problem that you that the NHS had when they were um, hacked a couple of weeks ago now. They had an old system. You've got to keep up with it. I know sometimes, you, oh, I don't know about doing this update. You know, if I do this, something might go wrong. And sometimes it does. Not very often. I got to say it not as often as it used to. Anyway, it's it's rare that it goes wrong, um, but if you don't keep up with it, you leave yourself open to all sorts of viruses and and, and malware and all that sort of stuff. So you you really do need to keep up if there's a new a new update available for whatever Windows that you've got, then you've got to move on. And if your old operating system isn't supported anymore, you really do need to move on to the next one. That that's 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 how I feel about that. Anyway, so I did the big Windows update. Uh, that was Saturday, and then last night, when I got in from the uh, bar mitzvah dinner, which I'll tell you about in a bit, um, I came upstairs and I thought, well, I'll just do a few bits and pieces before I go to bed, and uh, I I I I fired up my video software that 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 I use so you're watching the show live it's also it's the same software I use now for recording the show and doing it live it's called OBS open broadcaster software it's completely free and it's a fantastic piece of um software just so you understand so there's a camera and a microphone in front of me okay they go into a mixer down here which goes into well the microphone goes into the mixer the camera goes straight into the computer then the mixer goes into the computer so they both end up in the computer uh, they come up through the computer through a bit of software called OBS and that sends it out to you all right so i did the big windows update which looked like it went fine and then last night i fired up the video software so i knew it would all work for this morning um, and it said update is available. So I did the update and that was all well and good. And end off, went to bed, got up in the morning, fired it up. Everything looked like it was all right until we started the show. You could hear the music. I know you could hear all the music at the beginning there. Um, and uh, so that ran. And then I started chatting away. Now, unbeknown to me, you couldn't hear a word I was saying. And then eventually, when I saw your messages, because often I don't look at your messages until I've said my bits and pieces, you know. Um, But uh, as soon as I saw someone tell me they couldn't hear me, I looked up and in front of me, there's like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let's swap over to that one. Can you? No, you can't see that, can you? There's there's a thing there going up. and Can I actually move that? No, I can't. Can't really show you. Oh, what if I get a mirror? I haven't got a mirror here. Oh, and it hopeless. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just tell you. There's a little thing on there going up like that. As I talk, it moves. When I say nothing, it doesn't move. OK, so it's going like that all the time. And when you told me, I looked up and indeed that thing wasn't going up and down. So we tried to fix it while we were doing the show this morning, uh, but without any success. So I went, I said goodbye, although you couldn't hear me say goodbye. Uh, And from that moment, I started trying to fix it. And I was looking around on this thing and I couldn't find it. And then then my mate rang up, actually. Uh, He does a a little radio station up in um, Manchester Way, James Dean. 
And uh, he said, what, what did you do? I said, I've updated the software. He said, I bet they've put something extra on there and they haven't reset it to how it was working before you updated it. So I started looking it around and I could not find it at all. Then I did a restore on the computer. Maybe something's gone wrong with the Windows update. It restored that. Um, then the program cut. And then I couldn't see any of the cameras. None of the cameras would work. They were like a, just a green screen. Um, then I... I went back and re-downloaded the, the new version of the software and the cameras all started working except one camera, um, which I fiddled about with. And when I say fiddled, not actually hardware, you know, the, the software stuff. Fiddled about with that for a while, got that going, but still no sounds. And then when I went into the settings, I saw indeed that the update had changed the input, what what it was receiving. It was looking for something that wasn't there. So that's all working now. And that took about an hour and a half. That took me about an hour and a half to do that, by which time it was about, I think it was about 11 o'clock, 11.15 by then. And uh, I've been swimming, had my dinner, which consists of two corn steaks. Very nice, thank you very much. Uh, tomato, I now have tomatoes instead of tomato sauce. Oh, yes, it's all about... Because I've got a weigh-in tomorrow, you know, at Slimmer's World. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've been pretty good with my Slimmer's World thing. Um, there has been a couple of occasions where it's been very difficult to know what I was eating. Uh, well, I was taken out on Thursday by um, uh, the manager of the place I left on Thursday night. And, of course, last night I was at a bar... Oh, I've got itchy mouth. That's better. Uh, I was at a bar mitzvah dinner last night. So again, I was uh, unable to sort of make sure I was eating what would keep my level of calories and sins down. Uh, so basically, yesterday, I just was very careful the whole day. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, there's no tissue. It's all going wrong today. No tissue. That's a tissue. Uh, <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'll be glad when today's over, I tell you. Dear me. So um, that was the meal last night. Now, uh, let's just say hello to a few people. And, 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 now, and now here we are today. And I'm doing, I've done really well with my Slimming World plan. I've got all my stuff written down there. You saw this on Saturday, I think. All my stuff written down there. That's, that's all the days so far. And then tomorrow, Slimming World at 11.30 in the morning. And we will have the weigh-in and see if anything's changed. I'm 13 stone, 13 and a half on Tuesday last week. So let's hope it's edged down a pound, maybe two. I'm kind of hoping for two pounds. Fingers crossed, two pounds. If it's the same, then it's been a complete waste of time. <laughs> but I've been, honestly, I've been really good. No cheating, no cheating, no crisps, no bread. I did I bit bread last night? No, there was a big, there was a big basket of bread. Oh, it did look nice. Little rolls sitting there waiting to be munched on. Nope, didn't touch them. So very, very good. So that was at the bar mitts for dinner last night. I'll tell you about that in a second. Uh, let's just say hello to some people this afternoon. Hello, Adam, uh, Alan. Good afternoon. Hope all is OK. Yeah, it took a while to fix it, but it's all working now, I think. Hello, Diane. Good afternoon to you, Diane. Have a lovely afternoon. Uh, Tim. Uh, good afternoon, Tim. Karaoke Tim is in the house. Excellent. Uh, Duke's there. Good evening, Duke. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon, Duke. I'm waiting for you. I thought you were coming round. Are you not coming round, lovey? Come and see my... I've got some new sheets. I've just got bought some new sheets off Amazon. Only 12 quid. That's not bad, is it? King-sized fitted sheets, 12 pounds on Amazon. Very pleased with that. Thank you very much. Um, Kevin says, I don't like Windows. 7 is better. It may well be, Kevin, but at some point, they will stop updating 7. Well, they will stop updating 10 at some point as well, I suppose. I don't know how that worked. Oh, no, they won't, will they? That's supposed to be the ongoing one. But at some point, they're, they're, they stop up, up, updating 7 and you'll be at risk. You've got to keep moving on with it. It's the only way, OK? Um, Joey says, if I do an update on my PC, I get locked out. Oh, don't lie to me, Joey. It's your missus that locks you out, isn't it? Have you been a naughty boy again? Been knocked out, locked out of your house? You should do as you're told. Husbands need to be do as they are told. Or boyfriends, whatever you are. Are you married? I hope you're not living without a ring on your finger. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, good afternoon to Sharon Stone. 
Um, there was dancing policemen, Tim says, on the concert yesterday. Yes, I didn't see the concert, uh, the big Manchester concert yesterday because I was at the bar mitzvah dinner. Um, but I, I did see uh, Wendy put a little video on Facebook this morning and uh, it was of Justin Bieber playing the guitar. I was very impressed. Very, very impressed with Justin Bieber playing his guitar and, and just saying nice things and all that business. Very, very good indeed. And we saw policemen dancing as well. I think looked like they were doing Ring a Ring of Roses. Do you remember that one? Ring a Ring of Roses. Did you do that at school? Did you? I was always with the girls doing that. The boys were all off playing football. No interest in football, me. Oh, how boring is that? I mean, I might jump in the bath with a few of them, but to watch the game, I can't think of anything more boring. My nephew loves football. Big Chelsea supporter. He's mad. He's mad on football. He's one of those, yeah. But he's not yet a hooligan. I think he's still learning to be a football hooligan from his <laughs> from all his friends in London. Um, hello, John True. Shiv. Good evening, Shiv. Let's have a look. Alan says, I was talking to Wendy this morning. She says it was probably something to do with the updates. Yes, and indeed, you're quite correct. You're absolutely quite correct there, OK? Uh, good afternoon, Karen Brunson. Hello, Karen. Rod Brown's there. Uh, Jamie Clark. Hello, Jamie. Adam says you'll be pleasantly surprised tomorrow with your weight off. Yeah, I hope so, Adam. I was really tempted. I've been swimming, as I said this morning, and... I, I was so tempted. What I was going to do is stand on the scales, and my mate was with me. I was going to say, close my eyes and say to my mate, now, can you have a look at the scales? I was just below 14 stone last Tuesday. All I want you to do is tell me whether I'll be happy or not tomorrow. I was going to tell him to do that. But as luck would have it, I took a bit longer getting changed because I cut my nails in the, uh, in the changing room. And uh, he's, and it gets a bit, it's really hot in our changing room. I go swimming at the Hilton Hotel just up the road there. I pay an annual membership fee, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's it's worked out at about, I think it's about £45 a month. I pay to use, I mean, I can use the gym and all that, but I only use the pool. So it's about £10 a week, which isn't bad. It's a bit, well, I say about, about £11, £12 a week, something like that. And um, it's a lovely pool. Never really gets over busy. Although I had, there was an incident on Saturday. Oh, God. What, was it Friday or Saturday? One of the two. Friday or Saturday. Right. So they have an aqua class where lots of people go and they have a class and they, you, they close off part of the swimming pool. Now, if it's not busy, you'll get half the swimming pool. If it's very busy, you'll get like a quarter of the swimming pool. On this particular day, there was a quarter of the swimming pool free. But, you know, that's how it is. You know the times they're going to do it. You can avoid it. No point in going and complaining. That's just stupid. You know the times that it's there. So if you don't want to be there, then that's fine. Now, I went up there. I'd forgotten the time. And I thought, oh, well, you know, that's how it is. You know, maybe maybe I'll have a, le a little bit of a space. Of course, that single lane really is big enough for only one person. Two people, practically impossible. You've got to perhaps just walk up and down. So you, you go in there and you expect, well, maybe I'll just walk up and down. Well, I went in there. There was no one else in there. Uh, three quarters, it was very busy for the aqua class. So a lot of ladies in there. So I only had that one lane, but there was no one in there, fortunately. So I started swimming up and down, up and down. And the only thing is when those girls are in there, oh my God, it, it's like the North Sea. You've never seen so many waves in all your life, dear. And it's just sort of, oh, it goes in your mouth. Oh, it stings your eyes, doesn't it? So that finished, and when it finishes, generally all the old girls get out, and some of them stay in and do length. So as soon as it finishes, I've swapped over into the big part, some of the other girls, and we're avoiding each other. That's what it's all about. No problem at all. Um, and then two other people jumped in that single lane bit. So two people in there, that's fine. As uh, minutes went on, and within 10 minutes, generally, they all leave. They're all gone. And indeed, that was the case. So there's me in three quarters of the swimming pool, and I'm right over against the wall on my own. Up, down, up, down, up, down. There's the other two people in the single lane bit. And then this woman jumped in, right? Uh, about 63, 64 Long grey hair, uh, looking a uh, face as miserable as sin, as a lot of people do. 
I'm constantly seeing miserable people at the moment. I don't know. Why. <laughs> For God's sake, will you smile or just sit at home on your own? <clears throat> Because we're fed up seeing miserable people. And don't, please don't say it. Oh, but you don't know anything about their lives. I don't want to know anything about their lives. If you're miserable, I don't want to see your miserable face. Go away. So she's got in the pool, right? I'm coming down on my side. Remember, three quarters of the pool is empty. There's a rope between the little lane and the three quarters of the pool. She's come under the rope. As I've got to the end against the wall, she shot across and then swam in my lane. What the hell is all that about? The entire pool was empty in that area, yet she's come right across from one side to the other. As I've got to the end, she's jumped in and it started swimming up and down. I mean, it's just beyond me. It really is. Anyway, I thought about it and I thought, no, no, don't say anything. And I went out and I, I actually, I complained. And I'm, I don't usually complain. I just, you know, one of those things, I, I just let them blooming get on with it, really. But I complained. What on earth is all that about? Just rude, stupid people. Stupid, stupid people. So that was my experience with the swimming pool on Saturday. Going back to the changing rooms, which I was just telling you, they are always incredibly hot, those changing rooms. I don't know why. I just I don't think the extractors can be working properly. Uh, and they haven't done some time. Two years ago, they put this new ceiling on the swimming pool. So before, you kind of looked up and you could just see the metal roof, which I just suppose is like corrugated iron type thing, I suppose. I don't know that, but but perhaps a bit thicker. And that's all you could see. Two years ago, they bought, they put this ceiling in, which was, which is now much lower. And I can, which has made the pool warmer. Not that it was ever that cold anyway, but it's made the changing rooms incredibly hot all the time. And it's like all the time. So when I was leaving, when I wanted to, uh, my mate to look at the scales, before I got to telling him that, he said, well, I'll see you back out in the reception. So he's gone out in reception and reception is past the scales. So you come out, the, come out the dressing room, you walk through the gym and then you come out another door at the other end and there's reception. So he's gone past the scales already. So I, I, could, I didn't get a chance to look. Perhaps that's a good idea. Now, I, I, I'm so excited about tomorrow's morning at 11.30 at my Slimmer's World, which I, 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 I really am. I really am. Foolishly, this morning, um, I rang up the air conditioning man. I said, is he coming or what? He said, can we make an appointment tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock? Yeah, that's OK. Of course, I put the phone down. When I saw Ronnie, I said, oh, no, I've only made an appointment with the air conditioning tomorrow morning at 11, 11 o'clock. He said, yeah. I said, well, I've got a bit of slim as well at 11.30. I'm not going to miss that. I said, what are you doing tomorrow morning? He said, oh, I'll, I'll come over. I said, well, if you come over about quarter to 11, that gives me a chance to jump on my bicycle and cycle down to slim as well. Because we can't miss that appointment, dear. No. So that that's been my morning so far. Came back here, had something to eat. As I say, I had um, I had two corn steaks, uh, a, a beef tomato. Do you know what I mean? By a, is it called a beef tomato? It's a really big fat tomato. Blimey, they're half expensive. They are. If you're doing just as half the price to chop up two small ones. I don't know why I had to buy the big one. I think it's called a beef eater or a beef tomato or something like that. Chop that up, put that uh, put that under the grill with the steaks uh, with some garlic, some nice garlic, chopped up garlic and peas. And I had low fat yogurts and a load of strawberries. That's what I've had to, uh, this, uh, this afternoon. Zero sins. Zero sins. And this morning in for breakfast, a tin of baked beans. As in a tin of baked beans. Nothing else. I couldn't be bothered to do the eggs this morning. I'm quite happy to sit there and have a plate full of baked beans. With no bread. Just beans. Oh, they're delicious. How do you do your beans? I like to just overdo them. You know you put them on the cook so that they slightly congeal. Oh, delicious. And that's all I've had this morning so far. To make up for the meal I had last night. Yes. Um... Let's have a look at your messages there. All right, Kev Kevin Webster's a West Ham fan. I know nothing about football at all. All I know is that my nephew supports Chelsea and my father 
um, supported Queen's Park Rangers. He was a big football fan as well. I think my dad was a bit disappointed I wasn't into football. Uh, and on his funeral, um, uh, my mum had this ball made of flowers and it was like the West Ham colours. It's very, very beautiful. I, I might try and dig out the photo and show you at some point. All right, Kevin. Um, hello to Sharon Stone. Sharon is a gooner. I don't know what a gooner is. Hello to Blakey. Blake is with us. Uh, I didn't weigh myself, Adam. Don't worry, we didn't get around with. Tim says, ring a ring of roses is me fessing up supposedly about the black death of 1665. However, rejected by folklore. Oh, it's a bit like me, Tim. Rejected by everyone. Rejected by everyone. Ah, oh, Craig's with us. Good afternoon, Craig. Craig is going on a uh, on a cruise, aren't you, Craig? On a big boat. I've done that. I went to Mexico. Ba 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 America. Ba 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 ba. That's not Mexico, is it? No. I went on a cruise to Mexico years and years ago. Yes, we flew. It was me and my mate, actually. Oh, it's, it's got a terrible end in this story. Terrible end. What well, do you want to know about the bar mitzvah or what? Or do you... I might save that till tomorrow now because I am. I'm really running out of time today. I need to have a little sleep before work tonight. No, I'll save the bar mitzvah story for tomorrow. Is that okay? We'll be doing a late night show tomorrow. Okay, late night one tomorrow. Um, probably around eleven, twelve midnight. That's tomorrow night. Okay. Um. Uh, but the cruise. So we flew to Mexico, and we picked up a cruise there, and we went to. Um, Cayman Islands. Oh, it's lovely there. Oh, Cayman Islands is a... Oh, what a beautiful place that is. And it's so clean. Everything is spotless. And that's where... And I bought my mother... And what did I buy my mum there? I think I bought, bought her some sort of piece of jewellery or something. I can't remember what it was now. Or was No, no, that wasn't there. No, I bought coins. I bought a couple of, you know, like crown type things. I bought them on the Cayman Islands. Um, and we went to Honduras, which we renamed Horrendous. That was scary there, man. Absolutely scary. We are told to take off all our shiny things and all that, that and the other. And we got off the boat. As you got off the boat, you know, you could sit uh, standing above there were all these soldiers with guns. Yes! Well, that's not much different than what it's like in London at the moment. Soldiers with guns were up there. But of course, and I looked up and I waved and, and he waved back. <laughs> Get down here, love. That's what I should have said. But they're up there, of course, to protect you. And we got in this minicab. Um, can you take us into town? And the bloke says, this car, my God. It looked like it had about a week left, this car. And as we closed the door, the handle came off. <laughs> there was me and my mate and... Two of his friends as well were there as well, who just happened to be on the boat at the same time. They didn't come with us. And um, this cab, he said, where do, you, where do you want to go? To the shops, please. OK, we got in the car. Honestly, he took us down the road, round the corner, got out. $20, please, or whatever it was. Outrageous. We weren't in the car for 20, for, for a minute. Anyway, so we just paid him, got out. And I very quickly became aware of how we were interesting to people. People were just watching us going everywhere, and I felt so uncomfortable there. Really did. Anyway, we went in and went out of this shop, and then we walked. We actually walked. Probably the stupidest thing to do. We well, we didn't know. We couldn't see any cabs. What are the cabs? See, this is the thing when you go away on holiday. Yeah, it might say cab on the car, but uh, it could you know for cab read potential murderer. You don't know, do you? I'm dreadful on holiday. I'm so scared to go anywhere. <laughs> anyway, so we walked back down this dirt track. Oh, my God. And got back to the boat. And thank God I felt so, I was so glad to be back on that boat. So I went to Honduras and various other places. Uh, Jamaica. Went to Jamaica on this cruise. Um, and again there, we were told to take off all our shiny stuff. And uh, we got off the boat. And I don't right. I think... I don't seem to remember. We must have got in a cab, I suppose, which took us to the shops. Uh, and it was all blooming jewellery, which doesn't interest me, as you will. I can't... Jewellery does nothing for me. Look, no jewellery. Bits of gold and glass and diamonds hanging all over the place. I mean, it does nothing for me at all. But my mate wanted to go, so I thought I'd tag along as well. And while we were there, and we looked in all these shops, and we came out. And when we came out, 
Um, there was a policeman who just happened to be standing near us and there was a, a, a couple that had crossed over onto the roundabout. And he's like, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, we're going to get a cab. No, come here, come here, come here. So they've crossed back over the road. He said, right, you must stay here. Don't move away from here. Right, you, where do you want to go? He said, oh, we're going back to the boat. I said, oh, we're, we're going as well. Okay. So he then points to a car, calls it over. You, come here. Right, this is the policeman. Uh, and they've all got guns, haven't they, and all that sort of thing. He said, right, these two, you're going to take them straight to the boat and directly to the boat. I know who you are. And I've got your number. Right, off you go. I thought, oh, my God. I mean, you know, why would you want to go somewhere like that when you can jump in the car and go to Yorkshire and not have to worry about all that? Huh? It's just that I don't understand people that want to go to these places. Although it was, you know, there's been other places I've been to that were very different. Australia, America, completely safe, I felt. I don't know why that is. Israel. I felt completely safe in Israel. Completely safe in Israel. That's one of those things, I suppose. Um, but unfortunately, and here it comes. On this cruise, I started rowing big time with my mate. Who, who is my best mate? You've seen him on the show, Ronnie. And he'll tell you the same story. And we were rowing and rowing and rowing. And in the end, I came home a week early. I actually came home a week early. Look at that. So it it just ended up in a bit of tears, really. It was just one of those things. It's one of the reasons I don't go away with vol on, on on holiday with anyone now. You know, and it's not been the only time I've ended up rowing with people on holiday. It just I, I can't go on holiday with people. Really can't uh, unless it's family. Different thing altogether. That works very well. Went away with my nephew to Florida. Uh, been away with my other nephew and his family and my niece and her family. No problem. The family things work. But going away with friends does not work for me. It's just one of those things, isn't it? So I think you'll have a lovely time on your um, on your cruise, Craig. Um, we were on, it was a cheap cruise that we went on, air tours. It was an air tours cruise. You know, the, the boat was a bit rusty, but uh, there's so much to do at night and all that business. Uh, my God, the food, it just keeps... If you're going to Slimmer's World, well, you might as well give up now, love. The food just keeps coming on the boat. You have breakfast, then 11s, all these sandwiches come out. Then there's lunch at midday. Then there's afternoon tea, more sandwiches. Then there's dinner later on. And then there's the midnight feast. And the midnight feast is just like another dinner. <laughs> and there's nothing you don't want. Oh, it's this food is delicious on these boats. Absolutely delicious. I mean, I think that's how it's sold. It's sold as, as a big food thing, you know. We didn't have an expensive um, uh, cabin. We were inside, so there was no windows or anything like that. I think if I was to go on a boat again, I'd want a window this time. Maybe you get older, you get a bit more fussy. But um, uh, it was quite a pleasant pleasant room, you know, showers and all that. I don't think we had a television. I don't think there was any televisions on the boat. Can't remember. Nighttime, there's all these shows. And, of course, you've got your bar. Uh, there's a casino. You know, if you're going to go in a casino, set yourself a limit, though. I, I don't know if you do gambling or anything like that. I Generally, I don't. I don't go in casinos. But um, if you talk to people, then generally set yourself a limit. You know, I don't, I don't know what that would be. £20, £100. But if you set £100, once you've spent £100, you leave. OK, don't try and win it back. You won't. Very, very unlikely. So you've got your £100, you go into the casino. Once it's gone, you walk out. Do not try and win it back. You can get in terrible trouble with owing people loads of money. All right? Um, yeah, I think you'll have a wonderful time, Craig, and I'd love to hear from you. What what cruise are you going on? What, what cruise? Are you on a P&O or um, Prince's Cruises? I was offered a, cu a couple of times, actually, uh, a long time ago now, uh, DJing jobs on Prince's Cruises. Yeah. Yeah, I was um, about 42, 43 at the time. What had happened is they were looking for an an older, a sort of a middle-aged English DJ because what kept happening was they were employing young American DJs, but they kept getting drunk. 
And they were all right on the first night, but as they got to know the customers, they bought them drinks, and they were get, just getting drunk and uh, and ruining the the entertainment all the time. But uh, I didn't take the job because, you know, I, I I work in several different places. I what I do is it's like having several jobs all at the same time, and you're giving up four or five jobs for one. Now, with at the time, it doesn't matter so much now, to be honest. But, you know, if you've got five jobs and one goes down, you've still got four. If you're doing one job and it goes down, you've got nothing. Do you see what I mean? So that's that. And that's the, the only reason I didn't take it, really. I was worried that, you know, if something goes wrong. Plus, they're quite badly paid jobs as well. Yes, of course, you get your accommodation, but you wouldn't get your own room. You'd have to share with someone. I can't be sharing a room with people. Uh, probably... Uh, my mate for one or two days maximum. That's it. I can't I can't be sharing a room with people. Oh, no, dear. I'd like to close my door and that's it. All right, Craig, so let us know how you get on with that. Hello, Nathan. Um, ah, Craig's telling us, yeah, he's booked a cruise. Yeah, I saw that the other day. I did. Um, Sharon Stone says, was you wearing your little lycra shorts at the pool? I don't have those lycra shorts, Sharon. Come on. I've got shorts. Shorts, dear. Shorts. <laughs> Sharon likes beans on a crusty bloomer. Oh, that, that I mean, that's delicious. Or beans on crusty French stick. That's very nice as well. You can make a, make a, make a little sandwich out of them, I reckon. Hello, Alan. Welcome along, Alan. Uh, Blakey says, my money comes in that time. Chocks and cigarettes it is with some herbal products. Herbal products. <laughs> Hello to Ashley. Uh, he was in London when the trouble happened uh, on Saturday, didn't he? Yes, down the road from where it happened. Well, actually, Ashley, I, uh, and Blakey there will tell you as well, we used to, uh, I used to work at Belushi's in London Bridge, which is literally just down the road. In fact, I think there was there was a story about someone who had been in Blutes and uh, 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 was involved in that as well. So, yes, very, very close to home, that one. Very, very close to go on. Uh, good afternoon to Vectis, who says, did you have access to United Kingdom talk on that old rowing boat? No, I did not. <laughs> rowing boat? It wasn't a rowing boat. It was a proper ship, I'll have you know. Anyway, uh, as I say, just a quick show today, boys and girls. And the reason is, it's like 10 to 3. Got to have a little sleep before tonight. Uh, you would have had a good hour's worth. But unfortunately, uh, this morning we had uh, uh, technical difficulties. So we couldn't do a little show today. Uh, Want to do today's birthdays, though. And yesterday's birthdays as well. Because it was uh, uh, birthdays yesterday. And we didn't do a show yesterday. Happy birthday to my cousin, Tim Ryan. Tim Ryan's birthday. Uh, today, which is probably, actually, I think they're into the night time. They will all be asleep now. So happy birthday to cousin Tim Ryan in Australia. Uh, Christo Maximus to Kay Bargrove, 48 years old. Happy birthday, Kay. Gary Simon. Happy birthday, Gary. All right. Uh, Tom. Tom Kurtetz. I think that's Tom who I worked with, actually, in Belushi's London Bridge. He's 27 today. Always remember you, Tom. All right, happy birthday, Tom. Karen Barrett. Hello, Karen. Are you still doing the nursing, Karen? How's your brother, Tony? Can you tell him I was asking after him? I did send him a message. I tried to friend him, but I don't think he, he saw it or whatever. Can you tell him Chris Reardon was trying to contact him, please, Karen? All right. Are you still doing your nursing? I oh, know, Karen. Um, David Michael Alderton Skinner. Oh, there you are, David. You only live up the road from me, don't you? 30 years old today. Happy birthday, David. Uh, and Caroline White. It's her birthday as well today. Happy birthday, Caroline. Uh, yesterday's birthday is then. Coming up right now, boys and girls. Happy birthday yesterday to Edvaldo Souza, who is now... Where are you, Edvaldo? I'm not, you're in Brazil, aren't you? He's in Brazil. And he loves watching our karaoke uh, streams that we do uh, every time we're doing karaoke now. There'll be one tonight, of course. Um, all right, coming to you from Central Station. So happy birthday to you. Um, I've lost that now. One minute. There we are. Where are you? Edvaldo. Happy birthday, Edvaldo. Uh, Phil Buxton. Happy birthday, Phil. Nice to see you on here. Happy birthday to Adam Lazenby. Happy birthday, Adam. 
Adam ran at Central Station for a little while. He was the manager. Uh, not You weren't there very long. I don't think you were there for a year. And he went to Australia uh, to be with someone. It didn't quite work out. So I think he came back there as well. But nothing's lost, Adam. It's all about experience, mate. All right? Nothing's ever lost, OK? Uh, Damon Booth. Happy birthday, Damon. It's a long time since I saw you. Nikki Drinkwater. Happy birthday, Nikki. And the lovely Mark Flood, who is a vegan. And uh, often we have a little little vegetarian, vegan type chat on here. So happy birthday to Mark. Let's uh, sing you the song, boys and girls, and then we're out of here today. Just a quickie today, I'm afraid, gang. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. OK, now it's Monday night, so I'd love you to join us tonight at Central Station. It's a lovely bar. Uh, we've got a big stage there and proper lights and the sound is uh, good as well. OK, so it's karaoke tonight on this Monday and every Monday at Central Station in Wharfdale Road, King's Cross. It starts at eight o'clock and finishes at 11.30. So nice and uh, nice early finish for you there. Please don't bring me in any food. OK, no crisps, no chocolate, no sandwiches, nothing. Uh, I, I did have a little word with Maureen. Uh, the lovely Maureen always brings me in sandwiches and that. And I had to send her a text last night. I hope you're not be offended, but please don't bring any food at the moment because I'm doing really well with the Slimmers world and I don't want to muck it up. And uh, she, uh, she, she, she she accepted that, fortunately. I, I do worry sometimes about offending people when they're so kind. Um, to do so so many things for you. you do you know what I mean? Uh, but she was all right with it, so so that's it. Now, I'll tell you about my bar mitzvah um, dinner tomorrow. OK, boys and girls, but I'm going to have a little sleep now. Time for a sleepy bite. Last lot of questions here. Oh, yes, cheap drinks as well tonight, Alan. Don't forget that, gang. So Monday night, we got the cheap drinks as well. That goes right the way through until 11 o'clock with the cheap drinks. Um, that's it, I think. Yep, we're done. I'll see you again tomorrow. Late show tomorrow. Should be sometime between 11pm and sort of 12 midnight tomorrow night, OK? Uh, and I'll let you know how I get on on Slim, uh, Slimmer's World tomorrow with the old way in. Have a nice Monday and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks very much for watching and listening. Cheerio now.